Hi! Today's video is about how I succeeded completing my clinical lab internship program. Clinical lab internship program applies to people who are trying to get into clinical lab science, to become clinical lab scientists. In other places, it's called medical lab technologists. In other places, it's also called medical lab scientists. So, without further ado, these are the things that helped me get through my clinical lab internship. First of all, use your common sense. Have great work ethic. So be punctual, be respectful, um, show interest, be proactive, be clean with your workspace. These things actually account to how people look at you in the lab. Since this is an internship, look at it as like a interview. Every day you go there to somehow work or shadow someone, that person, that trainer is actually looking at you and looking how looking at how you work in the lab and if you can actually do the work in the lab. So make sure to have a good, what do you call this, a good vibe when you're there. Actually help when you can help out. Second tip, be kind. This applies to life as well, not just in a lab internship. Um, the way I went through it, I was paired up with someone and it can get really stressful because there's two of you working on the same thing and people and departments are, of course, observing you as a pair and also like, you know, thinking who's better than the other. It's, it's always there in the background and it can get to you, but you can also compliment each other. You can also help each other if your partner is weak on a department, like if they're not good at hematology and you're not good in blood bank, you can help each other out. It's, it's, it's so much easier to go to work with a friend rather than going to work being stressed out because you're competing with each other. Also, I wanted to add that whatever you're competing for, you're probably gonna get it. There's jobs out there for us. CLSs are in demand right now, especially with COVID-19 and all the labs, you know, trying to wrap, ramp up their capacity for testing. There is room for all of us. So don't look at your internship partner or group as competition. Look at them as friends and colleagues. Third tip, be prepared. And this means, you know, not having an in-depth knowledge on a department that you're gonna go intern for. Like example, if you're going to micro, have at least a understanding of what you're trying to do there. Like, oh, we're trying to look at bacteria, gram positive, gram negative. Those basic things you probably should know. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not gonna hurt you to know some parts of the department and it's especially more convenient for the person training you because they don't have to start from scratch. They know that, oh, you kind of know things. So I'll just go from there. Make each other's lives easier. But on that same note, don't be too confident either. I've had students or trainers that tell me some of the students got too in-depth with like trying to show that they know something that they were at the point of teaching their trainers how analyzers work. That's not where you want to be because then anal analyzers, your trainers would think, oh my God, this person's a know-it-all or it's too much. Like imagine working with someone who knows too much to the point that they're schooling you. That's hard for your confidence. So be a team player is what I'm saying. Okay, and but don't go there not knowing anything. Fourth tip, be prepared to learn okay you go there well you you already got accepted to the program and you're pre-screened to be there you interviewed and everything you got through everything you are smart okay that's that's a given everybody in that program has smartness in them or something like that but when you're going through the training please forget your ego for a second because you're there to learn you will be praised if you did great and you will be criticized if you didn't do well. And then other trainers can be, can teach with love and be kind and be nice, but some trainers are not that nice. <laughs> some might make you cry. So just be open to that, forget your ego. Be there as a student, as an open notebook that people can write on so that people can actually pass knowledge onto you very important okay there's a department that i wasn't good at i knew i wasn't good at it and the trainer 
I don't know if he or she knew that I wasn't good at it, but she was something with her words. If I messed up on something, she would say, you don't think. It also adds up because, you know, she can't express herself well in English and that's probably why the very bare words that she knows how to speak actually hurt. <laughs> so when, when I interned in that department, I was like broken and like, I just need to get through this. It's okay, you're gonna get through it. I'm here, I'm licensed, I get through it. So just be prepared. Be prepared for whatever kind of trainer you're gonna get but live through it you'll be fine tip number five know your strengths and weaknesses not all of us are going to be good at something not all of us are going to be you know perfect well maybe you're perfect i am not i know i'm not so i suck at pipetting my hands are shaky especially when i'm training for the very first time on something i get really like antsy and anxiety hits me and i get like super shaky um uh i remember those days and i don't want to go back to those days but i knew that pipetting wasn't for me but i love the microscope i love it i love morphology i love even gram stains, I love gram stains because I did microbiology in undergrad but I realized that my strength was in hematology and that's where I focused my energy on um, when I was applying for a job and that's pretty much it you know you, you won't be good at everything but this internship is great because you're able to rotate in all the departments and then you'll understand where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are so where you're weak at work on it where your strengths are you know be proud and be happy about that because at least you have an idea at the end of your internship where you want to like land in the long term last but not least be strong you got this as i've shared earlier there were tough times there were times when i was like crying on the train going home <laughs> but i was like strong and good while i was there in the lab there are departments that are gonna test you there are trainers that are gonna test you there are school stuff there are tests exams that are gonna test you and make you doubt that if can i do this is, is this is this for me is am i gonna pass Am I going to make it to the ACP? Am I going to get licensed? These questions are going to be in your head. Block them. Block them by saying you are there because you deserve to be there. And if other people can do it, there's no doubt that you can too. So just keep that in mind. Be focused on your end goal and you will get there. Uh, I got here. So there, I have no doubt in my mind that you can. And the ASCP is not that bad. You only need to hit 40%. 400 points out of 1,000. You should be able to do that. But this is like way ahead. But anyway, that's my, I guess my parting words for you. Uh, if you are getting into the internship, congratulations. It's going to be one of the toughest years in your life because this is, you know, this is your career going forward. Um, just know that everybody that has gone through this had a tough time too <laughs> as far as i know everybody all the cls's that i worked with we talk about our internship year and it's you know it's a mix of emotions when you remember it just enjoy it it's it's gonna be a fun ride you're gonna learn so much and you know treasure your time interning and learning what you can learn on bench because there's a bunch of skills that you can learn on bench that you won't learn in your books so Try to absorb as much as you can, be open, forget your ego, and that's it. So thank you for watching today and I hope you learned something from this video. If you want more clinical lab science related videos from me, please like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm actually saying this, but anyway, I just do this for fun. Thank you for watching. Bye.